In this video, I'll show you how to auto increment the VLOOKUP column index in Microsoft Excel. All right, I have a data set over here consisting of five columns. So a column for months, then a column for revenue, cost of goods sold, OPEX, and profits. So what I want to do is I want to do a lookup from this table. And I want to look up the values for these four fields uh, only for a few of the months, not for all of them. For doing so, obviously, I'm going to be using a VLOOKUP. Here's how it goes. So I'll start with my VLOOKUP for my first field, which is revenue. So I'll write equal sign VLOOKUP. Now I will select my lookup value, which is this value here. And I will select the range, which is going to be this entire table. Since I'm going to be auto incrementing the VLOOKUP column index, eventually, I'm going to select the full range here, which is this entire table, I'll select everything, and I'll reference lock it as well. So to make sure that the reference does not change when I drag the formula into other cells. The next argument is the column index, which I'm going to show you how to automate shortly. But first, I'm going to just use the conventional way of entering the column index, which in this case is going to be two, because the revenue column is the second column in this table. And the last column is false, because we want an exact value. All right, so here's our VLOOKUP statement. And now the thing is, once I drag this formula to the right hand side, that is once I apply it to the other columns, this column index, which is the third argument, is not going to be auto incremented if I just enter a number here. And I'll demonstrate that to you. Before I do that, I'm just going to apply a reference lock on the lookup value. So the lookup value doesn't change once I drag the formula to the right. So I'm going to drag this formula all the way to the right to see what happens. And as you can see here, the column index has not been incremented by merely applying the formula to the right by dragging it. And obviously, one method to resolve this is to go here and automatically change the column index Put three here, four here, five, five in the next one, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But this could be a real pain, especially if you have a lot of columns. And if you want to go ahead and change all these column indexes manually, that could end up being very time consuming. Here's how you can easily auto increment the VLOOKUP column indexes without needing to manually go into each and every formula and uh, increment it manually. So here's how to do it. So I'll start with the VLOOKUP on the first column. And instead of the number two, which is the manual number based column index, which I've inputted, here's what I'm going to put, I'm going to type column, open parentheses. And inside per open parentheses, I'm going to be referencing column B. And the reason I'm referencing column B in this case is column B is the second column. So instead of putting number two, I'm just going to be referencing column B. That's why I'm going to put column B2 inside parentheses here. And then I'll click on enter. And as you can see here, the exact same value has been returned. The difference here is once I drag this formula to the right and I apply the VLOOKUP statement to the other columns, this column formula, which I included over here, will help auto increment the VLOOKUP column index. And here's a demonstration. There we go. So the column index incremented, that is the next in the next column, it's referencing the third column, and then the fourth column, the fifth column, etc. And now I can just drag the formula down to apply it for the other two months. And as you can see, I was able to successfully and easily auto increment the VLOOKUP column index without needing to go ahead and manually enter a new column index for each of the new columns. So once again, here's how it's done. So you have to put in your VLOOKUP statement, you have to make sure that uh, you have the correct reference locks particularly on the lookup value that you have, you need to have a dollar sign before the lookup value to make sure once you drag it to the right, it doesn't reference an incorrect cell. And then you need a reference lock on the entire table. And the third argument is obviously the column index. And instead of manually putting numbers there, you can just put column and inside open parentheses, you will enter the Excel column, which is equivalent 
to the column index which you input it manually. So the column index that I inputted manually in this case in the first column was 2. So instead of putting that, I just simply put column B2. And that's it. And then you have to drag it all the way to the right until you reach your last column to the right and then drag all the formulas down so it gets applied to the entire range. And that's how it's done. And just to demonstrate what this column B2, for example, is doing here, this is very simple. So let me just enter column B2 in a separate cell. So that I'll put equal sign. So I'll select just a separate cell just for demonstration purposes. I'll put equal sign column B2. Let's see what we get. We get the number 2. And as we drag this to the right, you can see that this number is incrementing. The next cell gives us 3, the next cell gives us 4, the next cell gives us 5. And the reason we got number 2 in this first cell over here is column B2 is the second column in Excel. So as you can see, the exact same numbers that we previously manually inputted in the column index section have been populated over here. So if we can easily increment these numbers, why not use it in the column index in the VLOOKUP? This saves a lot of time, and uh, I've seen a lot of people struggle with this. I've seen a lot of people enter these numbers manually. I used to do it manually a long time ago un until I found out about this neat trick, and this helps you save a lot of time. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye now.